hi guys welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here welcome to a weekend vlog this weekend vlog is starting on a thursday because i just feel like i'll i have more to do today than i probably will have this weekend tomorrow being friday i'm supposed to go shoot at lucia's house she wanted myself no tando and her to shoot a few videos for our respect respective channels that's if she doesn't cancel so i just figured that if she doesn't cancel then it means tomorrow i'm literally doing nothing but shooting and that's not going to be on this vlog so that's why i figured let me start my weekend vlog today because today a girl is busy um today's thursday my helper amatha comes every thursday and she's got a family emergency so she's not able to come so a girl has to clean her own house Luckily though, luckily because my, my mom, my family, my mom and my sister was here last weekend and I was doing my mother's hair and it was just a mess, an absolute mess by the time we were done. So I asked um, Priscilla, my helper, to come on Monday instead of Thursday. So she did come on Monday to clean what was needed to be cleaned. But she was supposed to come back today because her day is today and I didn't want to shortchange her, you know so unfortunately shame she's got a family emergency and i hope that she's able to sort that out and i'll see her next week but until then i have to clean my own house but and i've got a lot to do but i'm hungry so i'm gonna make myself some breakfast and take you guys yo when last did i clean in this vlog like i'm trying to remember there was a time where there was a time when my weekend vlogs would start on fridays ne? and on friday friday was cleaning day when I still worked at the other company where I, I left with no plan B. Every Friday we used to work from home. And Fridays for me, Friday mornings were cleaning days. Literally, I would be cleaning the entire house on Fridays. And then my weekend will properly start on Saturdays. Now, I, guys, I haven't cleaned my own house in such a long time. I'm such a spoiled brat. And I'm so glad Ooh, Lucia recommended Priscilla to me. And Priscilla comes once a week. Like, I'm at a point now where I'm going to need her to come twice a week because I'm just like, it's a win-win. My house gets to be cleaned and she gets extra pay because instead of getting paid for coming once a week, she's getting double now. So I think I'm going to ask her, let me look at my finances and see if I can afford because yes, I was having to think, I want to imagine thinking, where do I even start? Luckily, the house is not that messy because as mentioned, she was here on Monday. It's just that I feel like the floors needs to be mopped and some stuff needs to be done but a girl is starving so let's make some breakfast then we'll work a bit then we'll do some cleaning and then i'm i want to say i'll tell you about my weekend plans plans girl it's my battle weekend proper my battle weekend uh, i've got nothing in my bank account yesterday the kids and i did like groceries last minute groceries and i was just like we did groceries and now nothing in the account um so i really don't have any plans um for this weekend except for tomorrow um as mentioned if lucia doesn't cancel we're going to shoot at her house um if lucia cancels i'm still going to i'm going to Noel tando's house Noel tando and my friend and no Mello. my friend Noel tando and i alternate fridays either she comes to my house or i go to her she's been coming to my house for the past month because i haven't had a car so it's just easier for for me actually if she comes but tomorrow it's either i'm going to lucia's house or i'm going to an old house but i definitely will not be in my own house that's for sure saturday no plans sunday no plans that are confirmed anyway and i think i like it like this because i was i was thinking the other day that i actually haven't had a weekend to myself where i'm not doing anything so this weekend is going to be that weekend i'm going to take the last money that i have buy some snacks i hope it rains it's easy to sit indoors and be broke when it's raining. Um, yeah, I actually hope it rains. But get some snacks and get some stuff that the kids like. We'll probably cook together. We'll do things together with the kids this weekend. But I don't want to leave my house. I don't want any activity. Like last weekend, we went hiking. The day before that, we had lunch. Previous weekends, I've just been so, so busy because the kids were away. So I was making up time um time spending time with my friends but this weekend i just want to be by myself with these kids and spend like, i just want to be in and out of bed this weekend and i know it's not going to make the vlog interesting but i'll find a way to make the vlog interesting for you guys to watch something okay mind you, let me eat and whew, i'll clean eventually i'll clean eh? 
but let me eat oh and also catch up with real housewives of durban i think i've missed like three episodes so i like it when it's this way i get to catch up um instead of watching one at a time one per week let's make some breakfast You guys, I'm done with my breakfast. And let me tell you something. This breakfast, I winged it. Literally winged it. I took out all the ingredients in the fridge that I think would make a good breakfast. And I made it. And I added a lot of things because I'm trying to... I'm realizing that I don't necessarily like eggs. And eggs don't like me. Because every time after I eat eggs, I'm going to need to go to the bathroom. Instead of just like going cold turkey with the eggs, I'm starting to like mix them a lot and use less of them. So I'm hoping this breakfast tastes as good as it looks because it looks very healthy. It looks really, really good, but I hope it tastes good. I'm going to eat now and uh, chill a bit, watch some catch up on what is this? Housewives of Durban and... I'm going to clean. I think I'm going to keep postponing this cleaning thing until I have to do it. And also, I need to clean before Alwanda comes home. Alwanda's school is closing early today. They're closing at 1 instead of 2. Um, so, I need to get this house cleaned before she comes. The time now is half past 10, so I still have time. Let's eat some breakfast and catch up on the dramatic Housewives of Durban. Take it away, feeling too good to me. Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be. Here in this room, what did you do? You guys have been postponing cleaning for the longest time. It is just after 12, we've just been hit by load shedding. And now I'm like, okay, now I really have to clean. But I really don't want to. But now my friend Kunis was coming. And I don't want it to come to a dirty house. So I'm going to clean literally what I can. I also did some laundry. So let me just hang the laundry quickly. But I'm full. Like I actually just don't feel like doing anything. And one thing I've, I've always told myself in life. That if your body says no, it's no. Like I haven't been to gym in two weeks. Because my body has been saying no. I don't want to clean. Because my body says no. And I want to listen to my body. So I'm going to listen to my body. I'm literally just going to mop the kitchen. And any visible area let me go hang my laundry and mop Maybe you're brave, boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. 
Hey, Jimek. Someone, someone commented on my vlog, but he got to something you could use. Nango, could you swag? I mean, what did you make us? I made us booty rolls. Okay. I made them like just before lunch. So you could be with us, which one? You guys, I forgot that I'm recording today, so <laughs> there's a lot of things that I haven't been recording. I am on my way to go fetch Milani um, at school. It's five o'clock. It's already late. I mean, the like, school closes at six, but I always prefer to fetch her at five. I got her. You do not show up at Milani empty-handed. So I got her some Easter eggs. Let's go fetch Milani. You guys, oh, the lighting, it's not even six o'clock and the lighting in this house is already so bad. It's winter. Don't mind the noise upstairs. These kids trying to kill each other. Milan is screaming because I don't want to put her on my back. Milan is three. She weighs over 15 kgs. She wants me to put her on my back for what? I want to cook quickly. And before I left, I had asked Alanda to chop some tomatoes for me because I'm just going to make... Milani, come! I'm just going to make some rice and tomato gravy with some chicken. Huh? Come! No. You're not my best friend? Pretty 
brown girl her space You can keep your bitter I'ma make a better way Hey, hey, nigga, catch a break hey guys happy friday i'm actually very very glad that i started this vlog yesterday because i've got nothing to give today and not because i'm not doing anything but because emotionally i'm not okay like last night um, milani told me about something that happened at school i'm so glad that i took milani to school at an age where she was just able to talk and vocalize her thoughts and her experiences so last night, basically, Milan and I didn't sleep. Something happened at school, so I had to wake up early today. Hardly slept last night, basically. Woke up early today to rush to the school to go fucking swear at everybody. <laughs> I didn't swear at anybody, though. Um, I, was, I was glad I had no, no time to come with me in the morning at, like, 7 o'clock. God bless her for waking up um, to come with me because when you are in that situation sometimes you are unable to ask the right questions or vocalize how you're supposed to so Nelson and i went to milani school this morning and we had a chat with the teachers about the incident that happened and they assured me that it's fine it's fine so i left milani but like i've just been feeling so down and tired the entire day i think it's probably 12 o'clock now and Nelson is here in my house thank god and um so we're gonna go shoot at lucia i just took a shower we're gonna go shoot at lucia's house um she didn't cancel but she just moved it to like two o'clock so since we're shooting at two o'clock i don't think we're gonna be able to shoot for all three channels because a i'm gonna have to leave around four to go fish milan so i'm gonna be there for two hours and it's not like what is when we get there we are shooting immediately so probably gonna shoot one or two videos probably shoot for lucia and um no tando but okay i'll still go one thing about me i will never cancel i don't if i cancel plans with someone it means really 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 something dire like it's severe like it's a lot like i don't cancel if i promise to show up i will show up no matter how i'm feeling so i'm just going to pick myself up and we're gonna go to lucia's house so Noltando and i have been chilling in my house we ate breakfast in the morning and we've just been chilling so now we're going to do our makeup quickly because we're starting to shoot at 12 so i think maybe we'll leave here at half, half past one i actually want to ask if nolu can come with me while i go remove the these um i have like jellish on my hands and my feet but i don't think we'll have enough time we should have just gone in the morning but um we're just gonna do our makeup now have a little girl fun moment in the bathroom and i'll see you guys when i go to lucia's house Never to see you again That was simply delusion Followed up with confusion That was just substitution For a lonely bed Guys, we are done with our makeup Please look how pretty Nola looks And she hardly wears makeup Oh Nola, all she does is baby Shia And I took a deal <laughs> I'm trying to slick my hair down Because I was not gassy But bang. So we've decided Nola and I About once a month We're going to be baddies Please hold us accountable. What's the man? Yeah, actually. Mm. If you're paying young bonara on the vlogs, I'm a bit. If I'm a concealer, sile I'm a wig. I want to let me come here five minutes that I always do. Yawa. Done. You must say, you have to be sure to pay a man. You tell her when to the full face. And it's so nice and subtle. Yes, nice. Is it the foundation? I think so. They tell you, let's stay lower again. It's a very good day. It's in two months. Okay, guys, we are done. We are going to, what's the time? Yeah, maybe we'll leave at like half past one to Lucia's house because she said two o'clock. But, if you want to see this figure, see this, make sure to shoot. Yes. If it was possible, yeah, we'd we'll go course. earlier. The thing is, we can't because she's got a, she's on, inter, she's on Power FM right now. She's got a telephonic interview. So, I'm going to ask that. Okay, definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. 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 <laughs> okay, it is what time? 
quarter past three quarter past three uh and we're finally going to Risha's house but we're obviously just going to shoot one video because okay. uh it's already late i have to fetch milani at four probably i can push it to half past four or i can fetch milani and continue shooting but we're probably just gonna shoot one video and maybe our videos will shoot some other time but at least we will be shooting something let's go i can't actually wait to see milani Open the gate. Okay, open the gate. Should I get off? Yeah, sir. Who you rooting for? They say whatever team that'll win. I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one. I'm gonna call child protection services on you. She's threatening to sh <laughs> She's threatening to hit Zani. Being threatened to beat up there are problems. You got you guys we have been back from Lucia's house. We, we were we were only able to shoot one video because of time. So we're gonna to try to shoot the others tomorrow. So we've been back for what two hours now, ne? Yeah. We just Same came back with load shedding. And we got some food. And we wanna play April Amans. We wanna play that game. Which game he gave me And we got food, we got chips, we got rations, we got fish, we got bread. We are ready to play the game. Oh, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Um, I wanna go take off this makeup. I'm gonna keep my wig. I'm gonna sleep with this wig on because I'm not laying it again tomorrow because we're shooting Nolu and I's video tomorrow. Please subscribe to Nolu's smell? channel. Next. Thanks. Right now, we are going to go get a bottle of. Okay, we're gonna use that one. We're gonna play that game. Okay. 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 Last time we played it, Udo said I was super hungry. <laughs> I work hard. I didn't work hard. Udo said I was super hungry. Let's play the game. Okay, let's go wash our face. Are we doing wash our face? Yeah. You guys know how early it is <laughs> this girl talking about let's go down it's morning time morning time it's morning time let's go down let's go make me mm -hmm. 
zombie. Where's the zombie? My, my scary. Let's sleep so the zombie goes away. Let's go and sleep now. Okay, come, let's sleep. No. Morning, guys. It's morning time, according to Milani. Can you sleep for 30 minutes? Uh-uh. 20? No, morning. Salani, guys, Salani, I want to sleep. No, morning. I want to sleep. No, I want to make pigs. You want to make big pigs? Mm -hmm. After making big pigs, can you sleep? No. Why? I want to make pigs. Okay, let's make with pigs. Can I sleep after making with pigs? Mm -hmm. I was sleeping, eh? Hmm? Okay, come, let's go. Lately, my thoughts got me distant. Darker days filling up darker minds. Stuck in this room that keeps spinning. Wondering how you been, where you hide. Late night drinking, wishful thinking. What if you were here? Morning waking, heart still aching. Something about the way you make me feel I don't wanna mess up your night I don't wanna put up a fight I don't wanna trouble you babe but I gotta say I don't wanna waste no more time trying to shake the feelings inside finally got made up my mind can't go one more day without you Morning guys, after being woken up by a toddler who is now jumping and she says she wants to go back to sleep, now I'm awake. I am up, 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 but I still want to sleep a bit, but I know I won't. I am going to make myself a quick breakfast. Oh, Alan is still sleeping, it's almost 10 o'clock, she's still sleeping, by the time she wakes up, I'm sure we'll have low shedding. A couple of videos ago, someone asked me about why does Alan sleep in and wake up so late. It's because I don't care. Like, if she wants to sleep, she must sleep. And it's like, also, get Enzi. You know, it's not like we're running a business that she needs to come help with. It's not like she needs to come clean or. And, uh, she can sleep until whatever. Me, on the other hand, I can sleep till whatever because I've got a toddler. I decided three years ago to give birth to a child. 
and now she terrorizes me and she tells me to wake up and I basically she owns my life so I'm here I wake I'm gonna make myself some quick a very very quick breakfast and I want to go out um yeah you want to go with me away okay come I wanna go do, please look at how ghetto. The ghetto, absolute ghetto. I tried taking out this gel by myself and I couldn't. So now I'm just going to <laughs> give it to the professionals. Girl, <laughs> I'm gonna give it to the professionals. So I'm going to, actually now that I think about it, I'm gonna have to wake Alwande up so that she can stay with her sister while I go remove these. Yesterday we, no time to myself and Lucia went to Lucia's house to go shoot. We went to go shoot, um, but we were only able to shoot one video because we started late. So we're going to continue today shooting for Noel Tando's channel and my channel. Yesterday we shot for Lucia's channel. I'm not sure when she's posting the video. And then today we're going to shoot for Noel Tando and I. So we're going to go shoot that later. But before we do, I need to go get these removed. Look. Hmm? Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go take these off even my toes my toes get even worse I've had them for probably three months now because at least with Janice and your toes it lasts longer Let me make myself some breakfast while I scroll TikTok and let me go get these out just so i just made myself a very beautiful breakfast as i put it down this girl is just like thank you for the food manda <laughs> and, and now she's helping herself literally as i put my foot down thank you for the food manda now she's grabbing a fork and now she's i haven't even had a, a taste zala and you guys <laughs> she's literally <laughs> Take it with your hand. Do you like avocado? Okay. Eat it, let's see. Oh, it's for me. That it would die. It's Kibela, it's fine. I'm gonna Guys, I am quickly going to go get these ghetto nails removed. The kids are inside, Alan is awake, I left them washing dishes. Um let's quickly go. I hope that it's not full because I don't like leaving the kids for long. But let's go. Where's Wawa? In the kitchen. Why are you hitting the baby? Why are you hitting the baby? Why are you hitting the baby? <laughs> which is a privilege. I'm telling you, which is also a privilege. I gave her Oreos, which is also a privilege. 
and I let her in on the sofa, which is also a privilege. What you say, Milani? What you say? Wawa. What did Wawa do? And she said the word, the forbidden word, and then I gave a small slap on the wrist. What did you say? Hey, no, I still call her ass. She oh. slapped you? Yeah. Where? Wawa. Where did she slap you? Where did she slap you? Where did Wawa slap you? Where did I slap you? You, you hit my dress. Where did I hit you? My tummy. <laughs> um, Milani and I just took a shower. Um, Nolu introduced me, well, plugged me in how great it is to actually take showers with the children. And I was just like, no. Why are you throwing the shoes? I was just like, no. What if it's too much? if the shower's too much? She was just like, no, she's a shower with my child. And I was just like, that could save me so much time. <laughs> that could save me so much time. So I started showering with my Milani. And, and literally, okay, we're gonna go from here. No, Why are you leaving your shoes? Take your shoes. Um, literally, ever since I started, ever since I started showering. Yes, Nana. Where is bananas? It's fine. <laughs> Ever since I started showering with Milani, game changer. We showered together, we bond. We even did a little bit of our hair um, for the weekend. I'll do her hair properly for school tomorrow. And <clears throat> what I'm going to do now, I learned it. Hello, vlog. So if you guys can see, I learned it over there. She is Miss. I'm taking care of myself. I want to be alone. So we are going to go to Lucia's house. Um, to go shoot. Um, I'm gonna put on my makeup quickly, mm -hmm. and we're gonna go shoot. I'm really on fire tonight. Can't nobody hold me down. I'm doing whatever now. Ain't got no time to fight. I'm talking way too loud. And if you don't like the sound, you could just tune it out. Who you rootin' for? They say whatever team that'll win I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one I'm in yeah, Okay, you guys It's the morning time <laughs> It's not the morning time, it's the afternoon time no, Okay, it's the morning time, I couldn't see Milani Guys, don't you think I'm getting better at this baddie makeup? It's the morning time Oh my god I can't be a baddie while I have kids what well, do you think I'm getting better at Maggie this? Mama. I'm just gonna ignore Milani. I'm just gonna ignore Milani. I'm gonna put my phone here. Don't you guys think I'm getting better? <laughs> Did you guys think? Shut up! Don't you, don't you guys think I'm getting? Yes, this girl. She got makeup all over her face. All over her face. Did you guys think I'm getting better at this baddie makeup? I think I am. This is my second attempt. I want to be a party at least once a month, and this is a great way to practice. Let me go to Lucia's house. Looking at me, I think they influenced by me. The city not fucking with me, alright. Wish I'd looking at me. She want me to slide for the flame. She want me to show some things. But right now, I'm focused on me doing me. Gotta watch step on the tight rope. It's morning time. Yeah. What do you want to do? It's uh, it's uh, it's uh, my thing. I'm gonna eat my food. Yeah. Okay, let's go downstairs. Morning, guys. Give me the remote so I can put the volume down, please. Yeah. Unless you just ask me, let to please pass me the remote. I'm watching Namsha's vlog, and uh, it won't be copyright actually because I 
She's playing the music that I'm subscribed to. What is this epidemic sound? She's playing the same music, so let me not because this girl said no. Hey. Hi. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> morning guys happy sunday i feel like it's been a long weekend but that's because i started this vlog on thursday and i'm so glad i did it is half past nine on a sunday morning we've been up since half past seven because this girl the minute she sees light outside she's gonna wake you up and say it's morning time and we've been up imagine being up on a sunday at half past seven come on i should it's half past nine i should still be sleeping that's what Sundays are for. Anyway, well, I'm going to Ayanda's house. Ayanda's making chicken curry. And nobody makes chicken curry like Ayanda does. Any curry for that matter. So, we are going to chill now. Ayan Alwande is going to church. And when Alwande comes back, actually, maybe when she, when we don't even wait for her to come back, we'll just fetch her from church and go straight to Ayanda's house. I don't know what we're going to do, but Alwande's going to church. Milani and I are going to be bums while we're chilling, waiting for electricity to come back. Um, I'm actually sad that I can't... Are you ready for church? It looks nice. It looks very nice. What did you say? Looks nice. Yeah. Milani, I was brushing my teeth. Milani coming to the bathroom. Mama, I want to pee. So you left the bathroom with them yeah, to come out of the house. They tell me she wants to pee. She did. Um, so I guess Alanda, make food quickly. We have load shedding in 30 minutes. Um, yeah, Alanda is ready for church. She's gonna go to church, and then after church, when she comes back, we are going to Ayanda's house for pool day slash. Huh? Yeah, the weather. The weather is beautiful. It's allowing. I cannot wait. I think I'm gonna wear a bikini. I'm not gonna swim, but I'm gonna wear a bikini and just like lie there. Let me. Let me. I'm not going to be doing anything. I will see you guys when we go because literally there's nothing for us to be doing until um electricity comes back. I'll see you guys later. You guys, we don't have eggs. I want to make breakfast quickly. Because we have like 20 minutes. Why? We have 20 minutes till with electricity. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So I'm going to make breakfast quickly. Um, I'm going to make like ox liver. I've got this. Ox liver. I've got a spa. Oh, it's called, it's called ox liver in English. It's called liver. My little cookie. <laughs> I always, I thought it was something else. What did you think when people say you've got liver? What do you think? No, it's been, I knew it at the time, but it didn't ring in my head right now. <laughs> Guys, I paid a lot of money at Kuro for this girl to not know it's been, it's liver. I do it at the moment because I forgot what it is. I'm gonna make a spin and some potatoes. Let's cook in 20 minutes. I know it's a toss up, but I hate the fact that we lost such a the Uber pulling up on call. Tell me as you trying to fall through. I'ma leave it up to you. What you wanna do? Look, I'm trying to spend this time with you. No, we all for do what you're doing right now. Right now. Baby, won't you swing my way? It's been a day and I've been thinking all oh, long. I know I want you. Long time since the last time. Got a tab, we could run up. Knew you from the way, now we grown up. My look, yeah, made the realest most nervous. But if you want it, tap in. I think that I know somewhere that we could go to crash land. We could keep the pace on slow jam. Don't leave me on red. Can we go back? All we have is the moment. Text I know it's a toss up. What are you doing? Uh, makeup. You're doing makeup? Yeah. You look beautiful. You see? Oh, you look beautiful. Mm -hmm. No, you do it. I'm okay. I don't want makeup. <laughs> You're beautiful. I'm beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. I look beautiful. Mm. 
Thank you. This is pink. It's pink. I like it my pink. I like it. Do you like it? Yeah. Wow, well, this is the pink and the show me this side. I'll show you this side. No. This side. Yeah. It's you all done. Let's take I'm all done now. No, on your pongo you want to do it on my pongo? Yeah. Oh god, okay. No, we don't put makeup in our hands. <laughs> While well, I just left for church and no sis is sad. It's okay, she's coming back now. Earlier on, Milani was reading this book or looking at this book and she stumbled onto this page and she keeps saying that this is, who's this? It's daddy. She keeps saying this is daddy of uh, this white man, basically. <laughs> <laughs> but earlier on she kept saying daddy daddy this is daddy this is daddy and obviously i know that she knows well i know that she doesn't mean like you know like the person it's a white man, it's a white man. and you know what broke my heart she says oh this is daddy daddy loves me he loves me and <sighs> <laughs> it's sad um, as much as obviously I know she's not talking about the biological person Yeah, you know, for her when she sees a grown man she says that's daddy and daddy loves me and I'm sure she gets that from school the daddy loves me thing or she gets it from the cartoons that she watches but it's just so painful when I see her this is my first experience with a, a toddler asking these not asking these questions but say, talking like this with the Alwande um obviously a i was not in her life when she was this young and b i don't think alwande ever had these kind of things because my dad has always been in the picture so she's always had a father figure around so when people are saying daddy outside she also had a daddy at home with alwande i've only had to answer the difficult questions when she was older which is easier to answer because you're talking to someone who can actually receive the information and obviously i spoke to her in a way that it was that landed softly on her when she'd ask her, oh, where's my father? What's going on with him? Do you want to sit here? You know, when she'd ask the questions like, where is he? What happened to us? Those are easier to answer. Um, she started asking those questions when she was 12 and it's easier to tell a 12 year old that, oh, you know what? Daddy and mommy couldn't work out or whatever. But now when it's a three year old saying things like, oh, this is daddy. Daddy loves me. It's, it's heartbreaking because what do I say? You know, as much as she's not asking any questions, but like, what do I say? That's going to make her understand that mm, that is not here and it's probably never going to be here ever because from history, from obviously seeing what is happening with Alwande and Marish. Where? He's, he loves me. He loves you? Yeah. Yeah. I love you. No. <laughs> But I love you. No, daddy loves me. <laughs> oh, daddy really loves me. Hmm? Daddy really loves you. Not you. It's cute. It's cute, right? It's cute. It's cute. I'm cute. Thank you. It's you guys just heard this. It's literally so heartbreaking. She's saying, Oh, daddy's gonna love me, daddy's gonna love me. And I'm just like, Yo, Danam, like, how do you guys do it? Like, this is my first experience. I've been dealing with deadbeats for what, 15 years now, but I've never had to deal with the child part of it. I've just had to deal with them. So now I'm dealing with the child part of it, where now here's a three year old talking about this D A D D Y and how much he's going to love her or how much he loves her and stuff like that when i know that that's not the case and obviously it's too early to be telling her that and you don't want to tell your child that anyway but like it's so heartbreaking as a mom to listen to your child talk about someone who's never going to be here actually i speak about him like he's dead it's not that he's never gonna be here he's here he just does not want to be here you know what i mean so how your mommy's dealing how your mommy's just um responding to these questions at this age it's easier for me to respond to a 12 year old saying okay where is he what's happening you know than to a three-year-old how do i ah, how do i how do you guys sleep at night hearing this how do you 
do you distract them because what i've done lately every time she starts talking about the d-a-d-d-y i just talk about other things then watch it Please, mummies, please. Like, how do you deal with the heartbreak when they start talking about them? How do you, what do you tell yourself? What do you say to yourself to make yourself feel better? I know she's not feeling anything right now. It's just the word that she uses. And I think because of what she watches and the things that are at school, she knows that that word goes with loves me. But once she's old enough, I'll be able to have a conversation. But oh, what about me? Like, what about you? What about you? What about me as a mother? What do you guys do? Not me. It's me. Yeah. Okay. I'm mommy. Say mommy. I, I'm I'm mother. Mommy. Mother. Mommy. Mother. Mommy. Mother. <laughs> you know what? Let me eat. Mother. Mommy. 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 Are your children just this rude? <laughs> Mommy, <laughs> mommy, mommy. <laughs> my food is ready, you guys. I'm not sure about my potatoes. Amanda. Mommy. Amanda. I'm not sure about my potatoes, but I know my liver is ready. I'm Amanda. going to dish up. I'm starving. Amanda. I'm going to eat with mommy. Amanda. I'm going to eat with mommy. No, Amanda. You're going to eat with Amanda? Yeah. children i'm sure 14 not even because alwanda also had this obsession a gun of um rain boots please it is hot outside but this girl and these boots she even sleeps sleeps in them how crazy let's go we're going to go fetch alwanda she's with my sister um so i'm gonna go fetch norma and alwanda and we're headed to four ways for our lunch and pool date let's go Never planning on actually staying Yeah, you know he's just playing That's his trick Say his name three times in the mirror And watch your self-respect just disappear Yeah. Looking like a 10 out of 10 plus 10 minus nothing. Do you want to come in? No, 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 it's fine. I'll just walk back. Okay. The thing doesn't work. So now, how is he going to come in? Well, he can just ask him to open for him. Oh, so, yeah, so for him, that is. So now what? It's just like. Slave. Bonquisha. <laughs> Bonquisha. How are you? Come, let's go swim. We're at aunties now. Yeah. No, but it's so hot. Yeah. Perfect day. Can you go for a swim? No, kind of slow shading. Sorry. Yeah, it's so hot. But there's no shading here. No, it's not slow shading. No shading at normal. Uh -huh. Oh, you guys come from normal? Yeah, I was dropping off the, the way to church. Oh, okay. How was church? It was very nice. Are you feeling like renewed and healed with the gospel? Yes. That's great. <laughs> She's putting all our alpha cars down on the table, knowing there's no way that she'll be able. To win this one, but she's somebody 
else in the making first she's just gotta stop all the faking and she'll be there but she's wondering if it's gonna feel like she's forever wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever she leaves her safe space she leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go She's wondering if it's gonna feel like this forever Wondering if it's gonna feel like this whenever she leaves her safe space She leaves her safe space Wondering if it is forever Or is there some place that will make her feel better Make her feel better Then that's where she'll go Hey guys, we are back home. It is almost, it's probably 20 past five. And what a wholesome weekend I had. I think for me, oh, okay. Hopefully this holds. Um, for me, every time I'm with my friends, my weekends are always wholesome. My friends and my family mean the absolute most to me. And whenever I'm with them, it's like they re-energize me. Like my soul just becomes, like I'm ready for the new week, I'm ready for whatever that may come. Being with my friends is just always such a pleasure. I literally strive to be intentional with friendships and I have to pat myself in the back by saying but that's the one area in life I've gotten right. Um, I've gotten right since high school, varsity, my early 20s, late 20s and now in my early 30s. I've managed to keep old friendships and nurture them. I've managed to make new friendships and nurture them. And it just keeps getting better and better. Like this weekend was just proof of what um, my friendship journey is like. On Saturday, I spent it with Lucia and Old Tando, who are my new friends. And it was amazing. We shot a couple of videos, but like our friendship is obviously deeper than, you know, it's not a, a Instagram, YouTube. It's it's not a content um what is this thing content friendship like we are friends outside that and then we decided okay let's do this content thing on saturday the same day that i spent with lucia and nota and it was my best friend's birthday when we were back home and i always always get so sad that i can't i hardly spend her birthday with her because we live so far apart and also her birthday is on the 22nd before payday Worst gift for me right now as a freelancer my payday is on the last day it's not even on the 25th where i can just be like you know like let me just push it i can't but it was her birthday and speaking to her and reflecting on how far we've come in life blah 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 then today i spent it with ayanda ayanda is one of my best friends and um, we've been friends we were debating today if our friendship if we are doing 10 or 9 i strongly believe that we've are only doing 10 years next year but she strongly believes it's this year <laughs> so we're just gonna have to agree to disagree but we're obviously gonna to have to do calculations as to really, really how long have we been friends. But like being with friends, I've got the most amazing friends. I don't even wanna say some, I've got the most amazing friend. Ev friends, everyone who's in my life that I regard as a friend is absolutely amazing. Some are in the Eastern Cape, some are in the Western Cape, some are in Joburg, some are in KZN. But I've got friends in different area codes and I love all of them, I speak to all of them. I see all of them once a year, which is my birthday, or once a year, which is their birthdays, depending on who's doing what. But like, I've got one thing I'm proud of myself 
is when it comes to this friendship thing i've got it on lock it's the one thing that i am very intentional about it's the one thing that i'm very like i put a lot into my friendships so i just wanted to come here and say that i've got the most amazing friends and i'm the most amazing friend <laughs> y'all see this little hand there's another one there's two hands they're trying to Guys, I can't even finish my thoughts without this girl being all up in my videos. I can't thank God enough for bringing such an amazing tribe of women around me. A woman who saved me, women who protect me, women who love me. And just women who are just there to talk shit with me, to just laugh with me, cry with me this weekend. I mean, every other weekend. Every other day, I'm reminded how beautiful friendship is and how beautiful my friends are to me. And I just want to come here and remind you guys to please give female friendships a try. Give them a chance the same way you give your man a chance. It's so crazy with me as... Thank you. As women, we give love, romantic love, a chance over and over and over and over again. But we don't give friendships the same chance. Like, we are so hard on each other as women that we expect perfection. We expect women to do this and do that. But you can forgive your man a thousand times. But you can't forgive your friend a thousand times so i'm here to encourage you to please a not only nurture your friendships that you want that you already have b but also try to make new friendships especially as a mom as a mom i've had to literally get out and make new friendships because all of my ogs don't have children the only og who's my friend is in a way and she's got children but unfortunately we have distance in between us so there are things that like play dates i can't do play dates with no way because she's all the way in case it ain't so i've had to make like new friendships but please as a mom do put yourself out there make friends um as a wife i wouldn't know but like make friends as a single woman make friends as a sister uh, whatever you identify as make friends don't only nurture the friends that you have but also make new friends give friendships a try guys like you won't regret it the same way we give love over and over and over and over and over and over again we give love a hundred thousand chances do the same thing for friendships and see how far that gets you i get everything for my friendships the only thing i think i've said this before the only thing i don't get from my friends is sex <laughs> and i don't know maybe i would get it if i asked <laughs> but i won't i won't ask my friends for sex but i get everything from my friends and i'm very very happy that god saw me fit to get this kind of love to desert i deserve this kind of love and he gives it to me and we all deserve it please do give friendships a try the same way you give love a try give friendships a try you won't go wrong i promise you guys and if you do go wrong it's okay try again try again try the same way that we get our heart broken by romantic partners your friends might break your heart but try again try again try again try again you will find your tribe anyway i spent the past eight minutes going on and on about my friends i hope they watch this i hope they see this i hope they love this i had an amazing weekend i hope that you guys did too i wish you a productive week thank you so much for watching this vlog i hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you next time